Hi, Myrna Smith here. Day 7 of fasting, Monday, February 4th. So far I've not consumed food for 170 hours and I've only had water for the last 149. Today was mostly restful until an urgent meeting called me out in the cold for three hours. My body is basically doing well. It's a bit on the weak side and my mouth tastes like I should brush my teeth. I've not had any more pain in my gluteus maximus and I've not had any headaches either. I would like to touch base on headaches quickly. About 15 years ago, my husband and I went on a six week body makeover program. It basically consisted of eating veggies and meat. We did lose weight and feel good. We know how to eat right and how to feel good. Why don't we? Before we went on this diet, I had headaches 80% of the time. I don't know that there was a day that I wasn't trying to get rid of one. About four weeks into the program, I realized I didn't have a headache. It was amazing. And then we, at the end of the week six, we went to a graduation party. The only thing that I had was a sloppy joe on a cheap white bun. The headache that I had the next day put the rest of my headaches to shame. What I found was that I was allergic to something in the cheap white bun. In the years that have followed, I have narrowed it down to eating no bread, except for banana bread types, no cinnamon rolls from a can, pizza's okay about one meal a month, cakes and muffins are okay. I have not been tested, but I do know that everything that I can't eat has yeast in it. So there may be some other things that affect it too. I just really take into consideration how my body responds to food. If I get a headache within a day or two, or if my cheeks turn red, or if my heart starts to beat rapidly within 20 minutes of eating, I know to avoid it. Really pay attention to what your body tells you. It's hard to tell what doesn't agree with your body when you're continually eating foods, when you're continually eating all of the foods that we eat. You really need to get down to the basics for about a month and then introduce foods slowly so that you can see how your body reacts so you can know what to avoid in the future. Another benefit of not eating bread was a habitual pain, joint pain that had plagued me for years. It just went away. A couple of home remedies quick for headaches are pressure points. I'll put a link for my favorite pressure points charts at the bottom. We use them for all sorts of pain throughout our whole body. The next thing is to try rubbing alcohol down your spine, from your skull all the way down to your tailbone. Do this several times, about a minute apart. If someone is there to do it for you, just put some rubbing alcohol on a cotton ball and go up and down the spine one time to get it coated. And then let it dry and then do it again. Do it several times, about a minute apart each time. I usually don't have an assistant, so I use a spray bottle. I just squirt the rubbing alcohol down my back and it works just fine. It might sound odd, but the science behind it, 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 what it says is it evens out your body temperature. It does work. My dad had migraines for years. They started doing this, and I can't remember the last time he had one. My other choice of headache removal is spraying my face with Thieves Essential Oil Spray from Young Living. It might sting for a minute, but the results are truly worth it. I'm going to read you one quick excerpt, excerpt from Fast Your Way to Health before I sign out. Sign out because I thought it was really interesting. So, page 103. When Elmer and I lived in Cannell Zone, Canal Zone, Elmer experienced an unusual turn of events during a five-day fast. For seven years, he had suffered from amoebas that settled in his intestinal tract. He had acquired them from our many years of missionary work in less than sanitary conditions in foreign countries. Every four or five days, for nearly seven years, he went through a cycle of diarrhea. He suffered with some of the same symptoms that hit many people when they travel. This always left him weak and nearly lifeless. Elmer had subjected himself to many tests at Sanford Medical Center in Palo Alto, California, as well as a hospital in Canal Zone, where the doctors are experts on tropical diseases. He had been to many other doctors and clinics, and all had tried their suggestions. He even had been given a morphine shot at one time to paralyze his balls. Nothing worked. The doctors gave him the classic response, you just have to learn to live with it. On the fourth night of absolute fast, which means only having water, taken for spiritual reasons, 
Elmer was delivered from his miserable bout with amoebas. His body perspired so profusely that we had to change his bed covers. His severe cramps rushed him to the bathroom. We did not know much about fasting and wondered why, after not eating for four days, he had to have a bowel movement. After the bowels evacuated, Elmer immediately felt better. Since that day, more than 15 years ago, he has never had another bout with the amoebas. The doctors who examined Elmer at Sanford University told us that the amoebas lay eggs that hatched every three to four days. Every time this occurred, his body tried to expel the irritating parasites, resulting in diarrhea. Hearing the doctor's explanations, we concluded that the fast had starved the amoebas. With nothing to feed on, and with extra organs accelerating their activity during the fast, the amoebas could no longer live in his body. Elmer's body, more fully detoxified and more charged with healing nerve energy, was no longer a hospitable environment for disease-promoting organisms. He had not only fasted himself, but the amoebas as well. So, I hate to say, but I think my fast is coming to an end. My lifestyle is not the right one for this drastic of a fast. It has been seven days, and I am extremely pleased with how I feel. I think I would do fine right now on a partial fast of liquids, though, which for the uh, once my fast is over, the next five days are just liquids to get your body back, back going and back functioning. So I bought some juice, and I am making some bone broth in preparation of it. The scale read 153 this morning. Talk to you tomorrow.